Hello friends, this video limits and derivatives part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. In this video we will study calculus. In calculus we will study limits. In limits we will study left hand limit, right hand limit, algebra of limit, limits of rational number and sandwich theorem. We will also study derivatives. In derivatives we will study first principle graphical interpretation derivatives and algebra of derivatives. Let me introduce you to calculus. Calculus is nothing but branch of mathematics that deals with study of change in the value of function with respect to domain change. For example, when I say y is equal to fx, this is the function. So here if you see y is the value and x is nothing but domain. Right? So when I'm talking about dy by dx, that is change in y with respect to x, that is change in value of the function with respect to domain of the function, then such study is part of calculus. Let me repeat definition once again. Calculus is nothing but the branch of study that means deals with study of change of the value of function with respect to domain change. For example, when you say a function y is equal to fx, in this case the value of the function is y and the domain is x. So when I am talking about dy by dx, that is change of y with respect to x or change of value of the function with respect to x, such study is called calculus. Let me take one example. Let's see this car is moving. Correct? So if you see this car, what we can see that, let's suppose this is t is equal to 0, this is time. This is t is equal to 1, t is equal to 2, t is equal to 3 and t is equal to 4. So let's suppose there are 4 intervals. We have taken divided this into 4 intervals. And at this point distance covered was let's suppose 0. At this point distance covered let's suppose was 2. This, this point distance cover was 4. This point distance cover was 6 and this point distance cover was 8. Let me show once again. The car moves at t is equal to 0, distance cover is 0. At t is equal to 3, distance cover is 6. t is equal to 4, distance cover is 8. Because we are measuring distance from here. So from here to here, this point is 0. From here to this point is 2. P and Q is 2. From Q to R again is 2. So total point P R is 2 plus 2, 4. So this is 4. Again R to S is again 2. So P S is 6 and s and let's suppose t is again uh, 2 so total distance is 8 so this is the distance so we have this relation where time is in this 0 to 0 1 2 3 4 and distance is 0 2 4 6 8 so if you observe this graph what we say we can say that we can write s is equal to k into t some constant into t just by observation we have seen that s is equal to 0, t is equal to 0, s is equal to 2, t is equal to 1, s is equal to 4, t is equal to 2, this relation we have. And if we observe, we can see that k is equal to nothing but 2. Why? Because you can say 2 is equal to k into 1, s is equal to k into t, so you get k is equal to 1, it's 2. Similarly here also if you put the value in this equation, 4 is equal to k into uh, 2, so k is equal to 2. So if you see, we found that k is equal to 2. So the equation is of this form, that is s is equal to 2 into t. This is the equation we have for this scenario. For different scenarios, we have different equation. At least for this scenario, we have this equation. Now, if I want to find the rate of change of s, that is distance with respect to time, we'll call it ds by dt. That is rate of change of s with respect to time. Here if you see s is nothing but value and t is nothing but domain. So here once again we confirm our definition. Calculus is nothing but branch of mathematics that, that deal with, with the study of change of value with respect to study with respect to change in domain. If a change in domain is 1, what should be the change in value of s? That, that kind of study is called calculus. We'll discuss more in detail, but just remember that calculus is nothing but branch of mathematics that deals with study of change in the value of function, the value of function with domain change. 
so domain is here t and value of function is s because our function is s is equal to 2t at least in this scenario so in such scenario for example we know we want to find the speed of the car speed is nothing but s by t or ds by dt so if we know this value we can find the speed so this calculus will help us to find the speed of the car also you want to find the speed of uh, acceleration of the car that can also be found in the calculus so calculus has varied implementation in terms of physics astronomy in various places we used calculus just you should know that calculus is nothing but a branch of mathematics that deals with study of change in value of function the value of function that is d of value of function by d of domain domain change because the function is nothing but something written in domain so change in value of function with respect to domain change this is calculus thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again